Yeah. SRA lift for your 420 Ranger 500 Foreman. Let's try and unbox it. This is what it's gonna look like when it comes to you. Get the box open. All right. Rear bolts for the rear lift. Front bolts. Got some bubble wrap. Ooh, nice. Front lift bracket. Also front lift bracket. And we have the rear lift bracket. Take that and just throw it, dispose of it, however you want to. All right, let's go over here to pull it. And take, and you also gonna need a 16 millimeter, 17. Uh, two 17s, whatever y'all's choice. Ratchet, socket, and a wrench, it don't matter. What you do is you want to jack it up in the middle of the bike. Do not jack it up underneath said rear end, or when you take bolts out, it will fall on your face. Okay, here we're going to go. Here we go. Going in. Going in. First off, you want to take the bolt out of the lower control arm. The shock bolt, lower shock bolt. Just like that. Second step, you're gonna jack it up just a little bit. It's kind of a two person job having to really jack it up for you because you gotta line them up when you get down. You don't wanna jack it up too much, just a little bit. Your new bracket lift. Said rear bracket lift, and it does go like that. Sits in there just like that with the uh, little angle right here facing the back of the vehicle. Four wheeler, ATV, side by side, you never know. All right, and now, you gotta put your right side on first. Put the hole. Slide your left side on. On, and get our bottom bolt. Remember, use your washers. One washer goes on the inside of this bracket between the bracket and the lower diff mount for the shot. And it goes on the other side as well. Let me jack it up. No. Good like that. I don't need you to jack it up no more. Just like that. And then you're going to tighten them down. Um, let's tighten the top one up first. There's a... Whoops, I grabbed the wrong socket. One thread past the lock nut. Just like that. Okay, this will sit like there, just like that, and it's on the four-wheeler. What's the notch for? The notch is for your brake line, a little plastic clip that holds your brake line on the frame. These are spacers right here. Those will go in between the uh, in the shock mount that is on the foiler right now, so don't squish it together. Millimeter socket, ratchet. Oh yeah. Sometimes there's a snorkel in your way. Sometimes there is a snorkel in the way. At this point, you want the four-wheeler jacked up a little bit so you can pick it up, wiggle, jiggle, and that bolt comes right on there. 
You pull your shock, get it out of the way. And jack it up just a little bit more. Get the bolts with the spacers out. We're gonna go on first. See the little spacer? That's a little spacer. You take that spacer with your bracket lift with the notch facing upwards. Slide that through just like so. Up in there like yonder, yonder ways. Take your little shim. Should fit freely up in there so you have to hold it where you put your bolt through. Just like that. Then you take your other piece. Sits in there just like that, slant it down at the top, flat on the bottom. You got a radiator hose about in the way, but it'll be all right. It'll we'll move around the way. Okay, now you can grab your other bolt with four washers on each bolt. Two washers go on one side, two washers go on the other side. In between the bracket lift and the shock itself. Oh. You want to leave this one loose so you can wiggle it out of the way. Get in there, put your washers on there. Just like so. Put your nut on the back of it and do not tighten anything up until you get both sides on and you'll just tighten it all together. You'll tighten the inner ones on both sides first and the outer ones. Hang up with the wheels still off the ground like we did the back. Try and keep your socket on your electric ratchet. If it keeps falling off, smack it around a little bit like right now. Inside one first. <clears throat> All right. Get on up there now. Hey, John, that's tight now. Minutes, maybe less. 